Good morning, my neighbors. Stirring the coffee with the chopsticks of truth using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started. But first, coffee. Bistello, Cuban, coffee. Instant. It's good. Never a bad day with Bistello. Never. I will be making a second cup of that. Hey, well, good Friday morning to you. I hope you're doing well. You know, they made fun of him because he said he's going to live in a garage. Here's the garage. When you wake up in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, Pooh, Piglet said, what's the first thing you say to yourself? What's for breakfast, said Pooh. What do you say, Piglet? I say, I wonder what's going to happen exciting today, says Piglet. Pooh nodded thoughtfully and said, it's the same thing. <laughs> breakfast is exciting. I love this from H. L. Mencken. The most dangerous man to any government is the man who is able to think out things for himself without regard to the prevailing superstitions and taboos. Slightly relatable? Man, let me just read that again. The most dangerous man to any government is the man who is able to think things out for himself. I'm building a community of people who can think for themselves. No sheep here. When I sense any sheep nonsense in your comments, I instantly block you. Instantly block you. I'm not interested in your SJW garbage. I'm not interested in what you believe to be true about the latest BS going around and what you stick in your body. You ever notice that liberals, progressives are always at war about what you stick in your body, whether it be made of metal or flesh? You ever notice that? Leave my body alone, a-hole. You can stick anything you want in your body. I want you to not give a shit about what I put in my body. Stay the fuck away. Happy Friday! Without regard to the prevailing superstitions and taboos. Boy, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? My vax status does not affect your health, only my disease status does. And one does not predict the other. And if it did, you wouldn't need to make the prediction. Because my harmfulness, my disease status, is easily and cheaply testable. So find out what it is you find so find out what it is before you treat me worse than the next man. It's the very least you must do. I have no idea who said that. I put it in quotes because that's not my quote. But boy, doesn't it make a lot of sense. Thomas Jefferson, I'd rather be shut up in a very modest cottage with my books, my family, and a few old friends, dining on simple bacon and letting the world roll on as it liked, than to occupy the most splendid post which any human power can give. Whew. Wow. I second that. I am not interested in any bumper stickers or virtue signaling anything about my family, about my beliefs, about anything, not even remotely interested. I couldn't care less about how many miles you run, who you voted for, or how many people and dogs are in your family, as stated on the back of your minivan, Subaru, Volvo, 
or Prius. On today's Daybreak Show, this is the most important thing I'm going to say. You can enjoy the other things, but this right here is the most important thing that I'm going to say. And I wrote this literally 17 years ago. 17 years ago. To the divorced or widowed, stay single as long as possible and develop clarity. Any arrangement that looks like a relationship will cloud your purpose and always has an expiration date on it that you refuse to see. But everyone else can see the expiration date. It's nothing but an entanglement. Get to know yourself. I'm not saying don't date. I'm saying don't get entangled. Big difference. Get to know yourself. If you want action and adventure, go to where the action and adventure is. You don't need to invite it in your front door. You don't have to give up dating, meeting members of the opposite sex for coffee or for a drink. You don't have to give up friends or companionship because that keeps you socially balanced. Be comfortable with your own company. Only entertain assets. Never entertain liabilities. It's the seed of a trouble tree. Did you ever grow a trouble tree? A trouble tree that will bear fruit forever. Learn to trust yourself, buy yourself, and monitor your addiction to disappointment. Everybody is addicted to disappointment in some form or another. After counseling professionally and coaching professionally, I have dealt with hundreds and hundreds of people in the past 35 years who are addicted to disappointment, and they keep that going. No more planting trouble trees. Hey, that's a nice tree. What is it? Oh, that's a trouble tree. This spring, it'll bear fruit that will torture me and haunt me forever. F. Scott Fitzgerald took one of Hemingway's books and crossed out the words in less than perfect grammar and he sent it back to Hemingway. Ernest wrote a little postscript and his initials in response to Fitzgerald and sent it back to him. Here it is. Zero shits were given that day. I'll say it again, protests don't work. Protests don't work. All you whiny little bitches will tell me that they're good and that they work. Really? The government has guns. Never bring a protest to a gunfight. Take my word for it. Protests don't work. It's just a louder, more visible form of virtue signaling. The government got to be where it's at because of power. Power. The government stays in power because of guns and firepower. Not because of your morality and your ethics. Think about that. Anybody want to meet me at Princeton and see Dan Pena speak? and be called a useless pussy for an hour and a half? Because nobody's got any balls. Spineless cunts. And we're going to teach you how to pump your balls up. Guys, if you don't think you can fuck all night, guess what? You can't fuck all night. Love doesn't get the fucking job done. Fear fucking works. My father said, it's not what happens to you in life, son. It's how you react to what happens to you in life. And that's how my dad trained me. And with that, finish your coffee, and I'll see you on the next Daybreak Show, your home of sanity. Actually, the only home of sanity, clarity, and reason. Mm -hmm.